Hey everyone, Joe Panessa here from Omnia Fishing. Today we're going over how to select a jigging wrap. So a jigging wrap is made by Rapala. It's a very popular bait. It kind of became more of an ice fishing lure initially, but open water anglers use it as well. And today we're going over how to pick the right jigging wrap. So we're gonna talk about size and color. So when it comes to color, the first thing I like to evaluate are the sky conditions. If you're open water fishing, cloudier days, I like something with a little more brightness to it, like some of these UV colors here. Um, as you get more sunnier conditions, these kind of chromish or blacks with the gold can be really great colors as well to reflect light. So you're thinking about in sunshine, reflecting light, in dirty water, you want something that kind of gives off a lot more, I don't know if you call it contrast, but in the water, but you can, it shows up better in those lower light conditions. The second thing you want to consider for selecting a jigging wrap is the species you're targeting and the depth. So if you're targeting fish in 30 plus feet of water, a heavier, larger jigging wrap is going to be ideal. It's going to get down to the bottom quicker. Um, it's going to get in front of those fish faster and you can fish it more efficiently. But if you're in shallower water um, or in conditions where you're fishing for smaller fish like maybe bluegills or crappies even, the smaller sizes are going to be your better bet. Um, just because it's going to be one, you're not going to be burying that heavy jigging wrap down in the sand or mud or rocks. It's going to stay more snag free um, in a way to kind of target those fish in a most effective way. You'd want to stick away from heavier baits in shallower conditions. So yeah, everybody keep it real simple with your jigging wrap selection. Just think about things like the depth you're fishing in, the species you're fishing for, and what the sky conditions are like on the day you're on the water.